Hello, everyone. This is Tina. How are you doing today? In this video, I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna give you two examples in the real world how they handle things differently, and then we will know uh, uh, how to handle L differently compared with the traditional web application. So let's move forward. The first one, I'm gonna we're gonna go to watch a movie, and when we go to watch a movie, we have to buy a ticket. Here we are talking about buying a ticket in the theater, not online. Okay. Suppose here we have a cashier. You already know, right? Uh, this is the window, and we have the client one, client two, and client n. Okay, so uh, when the uh, customer goes to buy the ticket, okay, the cashier has to take the credit card, to process the payment, printing the ticket. Once the ticket is printed, then it will hand to the customer, and then. Uh, ready to serve another customer, right? So for if you are in a queue of uh, buying a ticket, you cannot get the ticket until everyone in front of you already have a ticket, right? So now, if you has uh, lots of the customer in the queue, what's gonna happen? Probably the movie theater will have another cashier here. So some of the custom will go here and uh, buying ticket from another cashier. This actually is exactly done in the traditional web application, which is if one server, which a Tomcat cannot handle lots of the concurrent requests. What's gonna happen is you can have two servers, you can have another server, okay? And uh, for some, the two server will share the concurrent user. And if you have more and more, you can have uh, more servers. It's the same thing here, you can have uh, more cashier. Okay, so the cashier here is uh, synchronous. What does synchronous means? Synchronous means can only do or execute one thing at a time, one task at a time. Okay. Now let's take a look at another uh, scenario, which is uh, we go to have some dinner. Okay, we go to some restaurant. Oh, I cannot spell restaurant. I E S T A U R A N T. Okay, uh, forgive me. Okay, restaurant to have uh some meals. Suppose we go somewhere here. I the place I live don't have a good uh, restaurant. Uh, uh, let's just go to some fast food restaurant. Okay, let's go to McDonald's to have some uh, quick uh, dinner, and uh, they also have a cashier. Okay. And they also have a client, client, and client. So what's the scenario happened here? You already know, right? Do you wait for your, does the cashier serve for you until you have your burgers ready? No. The cashier will take the first client, first customer's order. And then after the customer pay, say, okay, your order is pl being placed. Okay, you are being served. Okay. And then you wait in the restaurant until someone call, okay, your burger is ready. Uh, link, uh, okay, I can I cannot, okay. Burger is ready. And you just go there and pick, right? Where your burger is preparing, what does the cashier do? The cashier is serving another customer's uh, order. Okay, so this scenario is different from the movie ticket, right? Because the first movie ticket, every the cashier has to give the ticket to the 
customer. But for here, the cashier don't care. The cashier will hand preparing burger back to the kitchen. And once the burger is ready, and it will the customer just go and pick your uh, burger. This way is called asynchronous. A -A -A, asynchronous. Which means you can you can do multiple tasks at a time. And for this is a event based. What is the event? Event is a burger is ready. When the burger is ready, notify the user, notify the customer. Okay, your burger is ready and come. This is the event. Okay, so this is a true scenario. Okay, and compared for our uh, web application in traditional way, the movie ticket is a traditional way, and uh, for the restaurant, the taking order is gonna be the Node.js way, and we will see uh, in other videos. Okay, and after this, I hope you understand. Okay, the how we handle IO differently. Okay, using the two examples. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.